Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. I was invited to Fort Wayne, Indiana to check out Sweetwater's 55 point inspection. While dining in the cafeteria, I sat with a bunch of sales engineers and talked about amps, guitars, and pedals, but then I learned something that just flat out shocked me. Like a lot of you watching right now, I just assumed a sales engineer is just a call center rep. They're just hired and they're put on the phones and they may have some passion for guitars or amps and they just help us with questions. However, what I learned is you have to take a test on your knowledge of studio and recording, live sound and lighting, software and plugins, guitars, bass, keyboards and synthesizers, drums and percussion, microphone, DJ equipment, accessories, you name it, this covers everything. And then once you take that test, depending on your score, if you're hired, you then attend 13 weeks of training on all of those subjects so that you can help customers with every single aspect of those instruments. So I went to Sweetwater and asked HR if I could take this test. I was explaining to Steve at 60 Cycle Hum what I learned and he asked to take the test with me. Now, something I got to tell you up front is that if you look at the Sweetwater warehouse, you can tell real fast that the majority of the warehouse is DJ, lighting, PA, recording, all things that I don't work with on a daily basis or at all, since most of my experience and career has been wrapped around repairing guitars or just guitars themselves. And I want to be very clear, we took this test exactly how a prospective employee would take it, and we thought this would illustrate how difficult it is or easy it is to be a sales engineer on the phone. What you're going to see is us taking the test, and because of Sweetwater's being very open about things, they're letting us share the results with you, even though this is something they normally don't share. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Let's okay. get it on. Yeah. I thought it was going to be in quadrants, but they're jumping no. it jumps yeah. re immediately right around. Very quickly in the test, you could tell right away there is a lot of stuff focused on DJ, lighting, drums, and a lot of acronyms. It's asking me a type of drum kit. I'm trying to visualize where the what is there. <laughs> so has, has anyone ever passed it first try? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So it's, sometimes it happens. 50% okay. is a good score. Okay. 50% is a good score. I'll do 1%. <laughs> Has anyone just like aced it? Oh man, the highest score I know of is like an 87. Wow. So, um, someone got an 87? Yeah. It's, That's it's impressive. Really good. I really thought there'd be more in my category because I feel like the majority of it was all in the categories I don't know. It makes you realize. All right. How unimportant guitars maybe are. Yeah, I really came to the conclusion that uh, uh, we're not everything. <laughs> There's a lot of microphones. It was I, like just in the world. <laughs> if you have to guess like percentage correct, what do you guys think you did? Man, I feel like overall maybe like 37%. That high? I think I I think I got high 80s, low 90 percent on the guitar area, and then overall test I'm hoping for 30, 31 percent. I mean, most of the multiple choice was like five answers, so like, so you guys you absolutely are terrible on the rest of the multiple choice, but you do well on guitar, you should get at least 20 percent. Do so you guys think you got one in three? <laughs> okay, so we have answers. Oh god. Oh man, here we go. Roll, please. Yes, please. Okay. Before we give you those results, right now is a perfect time to talk about our sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. After taking that test, I really saw some areas I could really improve on. Not only was I able to take a class on lighting, I was able to take a class on recording. And one of the things I really enjoyed is that they have the classes set by time. If you have 15 minutes to spare, that was a big deal for me because sometimes I was thinking when I was sitting around going, I got 15 minutes, let's learn something real quick. One of the instructors I really enjoyed was Chris Brooker and I really like how he broke things down, but more importantly, I like that I could go to sections as I was setting up some new recording ideas. The first 1,000 people to use the link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Cool. Reports and everything. Do we keep these or? Yeah, this yeah frame them. Okay. You're getting wow, that ready. Hey. Okay. Okay, All ready? Right. You, who do you want to go first? Uh, you, you want to start at the bottom or the top? Let's start at the bottom because yeah. guitar's at the top. So, lighting, I was 33.3%. I was 70% in lighting. I do not yeah. know how. 
And that tell you can tell those things from my videos. Right? <laughs> How did you do on drums? Thirty-seven point five. What? Yeah. I did 75% in drums, Phil. Really? Keyboard and MIDI, I was 36.73%. I was 46.95%. Microphones, I got 20%. I got 44.4%, which is, like I said, like I, there, there's so much specificity in microphones, I don't know how you get more than 50% in microphones. You'd have, to be a, you'd have to be a recording engineer, I think, to get more than 50%. Yeah, recording 35.88%. All right, I got 52.5%. DJ, I got 55.56%. I only got 44%. Uh, technical knowledge, 50.93. 74.6. What's technical knowledge? I don't. Yeah, do you guys know have a reference of what that means? It's just divided up the product knowledge, which is up top, and then there's technical knowledge. Those are really the two categories. It's like those math oh, questions and stuff like that. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so I'm sure right now you're asking yourself what kind of questions, and as you can imagine, they don't want us sharing the questions. However, I can share a question that's like a question on the test. How do you measure speaker distance? Place your speaker one third of the distance from the front wall and your seat one third from the distance of the rear wall. For example, if your room measures 15 feet wall to wall, place your seat five feet from the rear wall and your speaker five feet from the front wall. All right, this is the one that matters. Yeah, Let's guitar. Do. Okay, I got 90.63. 96.9% .9 Phil. Okay. And then overall grade, I got 43.59. I got 60.4%. Yeah, because you were rocking those little categories. Yeah. I know you guys are also curious about questions on the guitar section. And again, we can't share the actual questions, but I can give you an example. What finish used on guitars never cures? And the answer is nitrocellulose lacquer. So how does that, how does that, I mean, there's obviously other criteria mm -hmm. and stuff, because we're not talking about like higher ability, we're talking about like, uh, what are you looking for on the test, mm -hmm. generally speaking? Uh, generally. 40 to 50 is a good score. Okay. No. So you guys are in the we window. Did. Yeah, we, we did. did it. So you'd make it to the next. Right. Mm -hmm. So as long as we weren't totally horrible people, we'd have a shot. Which we are. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So because they're probably like personality, all those Absolutely. things. Absolutely. Yeah. There's lots of work factors. History, right. Yeah. This is just the informational side. Because there's a, you know, some role play, how you would talk to a customer on the phone. Mm -hmm. like that. that was great. I loved it. I'm happy it's over. <laughs> now, before you guys go, there's a couple things I want to say. First, I am truly impressed with the investment Sweetwater is putting into people. The second thing I want to tell you is this is not a video just about Sweetwater. Other music stores, including smaller mom and pop, should take notice of the investment that Sweetwater puts into training. Because I think the message they focus on is that Sweetwater has big advertising dollars and that's why they're so big as a company. But the truth is, training your employees to improve your customer's experience seems to be at the core of what Sweetwater focuses on. And that's something any dealer can do, it doesn't matter how much money you have. All right, so that's our that's our yeah. experience. I want to thank Steve for being crazy enough to join me. This was kind oh, of fun no, to have somebody fun. be visible with me. Yeah, no, I I I enjoyed it, and yeah, for sure, just sitting there and like you're like, oh, I'm like, you'd either be a couple questions ahead of me or a couple questions behind me, and so you'd be like, you'd either be like, oh man, I can't believe all of these questions about like mixers. I'm like, oh yeah, I already did that part, and I'm thinking about like, yeah, that sucked. Or like, or or you'd be, oh man, I can't believe there's all these questions on mixers. I'm like, oh god, like I'm not there yet. Like, <laughs> you guys have to get tattoos now. Oh my god, matching Sweetwater tattoos <laughs> with our scores, like Shane. It'll be there forever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. On that note, I want to thank everybody uh, for their time. To the next time, uh, know your gear.